So you're thinking about making a move to Brighton, Michigan, and you heard about this event that we have every year called the Taste of Brighton. Well, this event is one of my favorites, and I'm excited to share it with you. There's a whole lot of stuff going on downtown all the time, but this event brings thousands of people from the surrounding areas and in our local community, downtown Brighton, to try some of the best restaurants and all the restaurants we have, you know, for that matter, and all the storefronts and businesses that, you know, have their brick and mortar downtown in the surrounding area are out on the street to showcase exactly what they do, who they are, and bring our community together. And I think that's the one thing I love about this event is it's nothing but community, bringing community together and showcasing how amazing our community is here in Brighton. So I'm excited to share this with you guys. So let's get after it right now. Hey, if you're new to this channel and you guys want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, breathing right here in Brighton, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell so you're the first to learn about the Brighton market and the surrounding areas. Hey, what's happening, you guys? My name is Eric Meldrum. I'm a licensed agent and team leader with True Living Real Estate Group with eXp Realty. And one of the things that my team and I love doing is making videos just like this on what it's like to live in the cities that we live in and surrounding areas that we serve. And this week, we're talking all about Brighton and the taste of Brighton. So one of the things that we are getting every single day is certainly calls from people just like you, 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 and you who are thinking about making a move to Brighton and the surrounding areas. And we want to help you do just that. So whether you're making a move in one week or one year from now, it doesn't matter. You got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. I've even put my Calendly link down below so you can schedule a Zoom call with me or one of my agents. And as always, we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Brighton and the surrounding areas or wherever you're heading here in Michigan. All right, guys. So let's get right into it. You might be asking yourself what the heck is the taste of brighton so i'm going to give you my opinion of what taste of brighton is and what it actually is so first off what it actually is is an event and a festival that takes place downtown brighton and all of the local businesses you have to have a brick and mortar to participate in in the festival and have a place you know on main street whether it's a tent or some sort of activity that you're doing, but you have to have a brick and mortar here in Brighton to participate. So a lot of people who come out, they come out specifically for the cuisine. You know, all the restaurants that are downtown, they bring out, have food stands, all the, the candy stores, the ice cream stores, they have uh, stands in the street that you can go up, try some of their best dishes. They put together special dishes specifically for this event and they are all to die for. So definitely got to check those out. All right, so now let me tell you what the Taste of Brighton actually means to me personally. You know, having been a part of this community since 2016, when my wife and I first bought you know, our house here in Brighton, we didn't know anybody in Brighton. And one of the first events that we went to was Taste of Brighton because it was the largest event. And, you know, we wanted to get out with our daughter, go walk around the city and just meet some people. So we met some amazing people there. And that was our really big intro into the community and what it had to offer. And really our first glimpse at how close knit this community really is, you know, helping one another. So this is sentimental to me because the Taste of Brighton doesn't only mean I get to go have great food and meet new people and hang out with old friends but it also is you know memory from when we first got to this community and it was a welcoming you know to us that showed us exactly what the community was about so we love this event you know being part of the community and serving so many families in this community now with our real estate business really special so it gets me kind of choked up talking about it um, because we we just have so much good stuff going on in our community um, and we're just glad to do it. So the other thing we help with Taste of Brighton is I manage a Facebook group here in the community called Brighton Michigan Happenings and you know my wife and I started this group back in 2016 we moved here because we saw a need for you know some local places where people could go meet people you know share events share stuff going on around town there really wasn't um, that type of you know thing in our community so we just created it and it what started off as you know just hopefully to find some things for our kids to do turned into one of the most iconic pages here in Brighton called Brighton Michigan Happenings. I'll put the link below so you guys can, can check it out and join if you're thinking about moving to, to Brighton. Um, there's some great resources in there. We have moving guides. We have you know recommendations for any contractor you might need. 
you know, if you guys have any questions at all about any of that stuff, you know, just feel free to give me a call. I'm an open book, happy to give resources and advice on, you know, some of the best places to live in Brighton. Definitely check out some of the videos we've done in Brighton, best neighborhoods and things like that. So that's really what the Taste of Brighton means to me personally. Um, I encourage you guys to check it out. I think it's a fantastic event that just brings so many people together and I think you guys are going to love it. All right, so you guys heard exactly what the Taste of Brighton means to me and my community, um, but I asked the same question to a lot of the business owners here in Brighton. So let's check that out and see what they had to say, why they love Brighton and what the community means to them. All right, so we're here at the Taste of Brighton and we're gonna take a quick little tour around. I'll show you guys exactly what the Taste of Brighton is all about. So right behind me, it's a two day event here in Brighton. Absolutely phenomenal. All the restaurants and vendors come together and put on the Taste of Brighton, which has pretty much every restaurant that you can think of in Brighton. And we're gonna go test some food. So let's go, let's do it. Hi, I'm Ken Larscheid. I'm owner of Running Lab in Brighton, Michigan. How you doing? I'm Ian Boyle. I own Good Sense Coffee. We are a roasting uh, and mobile espresso bar company uh, based in Brighton. What I love about Brighton is the community feel and all the kids that run around here all the time. I've got a little sticker section and a little kids area inside and we've had so many kids that come in and out and I just think it gives that really community, real community feel when there's that many kids always downtown. I love how just the community just rallies around any event that we do. Um, we've created such a great community with runners and they embrace it and they love that you know you can come down here and you know you can kind of get a, a taste of everything that Brighton has to offer and um, customers really just love rallying around any event that we do. I live here in the community in Brighton. Um, Love Brighton. It's been uh, we've been here since 2011, and uh, just really enjoy the community. Really enjoy uh, our main street and just uh, just the whole the whole environment of Livingston County in general. We like uh, my wife and I really like it here. For me personally, it means exposure. Um, we just opened the store two weeks ago, so it's a big deal to me to put my best foot forward for our first big festival of the season. And to the community, I think it's just a good place to run into people that you might not have seen in a while. All day as I'm walking, I've seen people walk by, they're running into their neighbors or old teachers, and I just love to see those type of interactions. Hi, my name's uh, Jake Hansen. I work alongside uh, Nick here at Two Brothers and uh, Captain's Wood Fired Pies. Uh, uh, what Brighton means to me is I'm pretty new to Brighton. I haven't been here that long. Uh, just working here and been super welcoming by uh, a lot of our neighbors, uh, some of the people across the street that we knew from uh, other markets that have been super nice. Really glad that we're here and want uh, want to do like collaborations. We we do a lot of stuff with Great Harvest. Uh, we do a lot of stuff with Good Sense here. This is my first taste of Brighton, so for me it means showing everybody here uh, exactly what we can do. We can do some good stuff and. Really, we just want to showcase it and have everybody be able to try a little bit of, a little bit of our flavor, basically. So, hi, uh, I'm Elena Borg. We own uh, Brighton Bar and Grill and Bourbons. And this is I'm a manager at Brighton Bar and Grill. My name is Rania. She's family. <laughs> the Taste of Brighton is our favorite festival. We get to show off some of our menu items. We get to sit out here and see everybody in the community having fun and talk to them and meet new people that we haven't met before. It's, it's really fun. It's a different atmosphere. I really like Taste of Brighton because it's just a great opportunity to get kind of all the businesses that are kind of stretching around Brighton in the surrounding area to come together in one spot. Uh, 
you get to try food, you get to try drinks, you get to see some of the non-food, non-restaurant vendors as well that are that are out here doing business, and uh, just a great opportunity to see who's here and, and see what everybody's about. So that's what I like about Taste of Brighton. In me in particular, I'm 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 on the board of directors for the uh, Taste of Brighton Festival, so I'm I'm pretty close to it. So uh, it means a lot to me, you know, execution-wise, and you know how. What, what events and what things we have happening for families. But I think taste is important because it's unique in that we don't, our mission is we only allow uh, businesses that have a brick and mortar retail location or restaurant location to participate. So that is a, a, a pretty much a hard uh, rule that we follow and we, we like to keep it so that we only local businesses are attending and that's what you're getting a taste of at the uh, at the festival. Hi, my name is Virginia and I am the director of marketing for Buff City Soap and Single Barrel Social. Oh, I love Brighton for the way that it embraces a community and gives it continuous opportunities to just come outside and be part of something bigger than just what's around them on an everyday basis. Hi, my name is Cheryl. I own Jack's Custard. Um, we've been part of the Brighton community for 17 years, a long time. Um, Taste of Brighton is rather new compared to other festivals, but we love it. Um, we appreciate everything that everyone does to help it and organize the whole thing. Um, but it's awesome. Come on down. It's a great day. Taste of Brighton is just, um, I think, the whole community coming together and making people happy, selling their goods, showing what they have. Um, all in all, just a really fun day, fun weekend. I think that it's just like small businesses coming together and showing what they have in the community and everyone just having fun, especially because we haven't been able to do this in a while. It's a lot of fun. I think Taste of Brighton shows off what Brighton like really has. It's a bunch of like good people and small businesses. People that all come together for a nice event once a year that does really well and people all enjoy it. Good food, good places, good things to pick up here and everyone just has a good time from morning till night. So it's always good to see everybody out here. It's a good time. Taste of Brighton, come join us. Keith Karp, owner of Oh My Lolly and part of the board member that helps put this great event on. Taste of Brighton is a showcase of all of what Brighton has to offer. So this is an event put on, uh, the slogan is for us, by us, about us. It's all funded by the businesses and restaurants in and around Main Street. Uh, all the funds are driven by uh, not only sponsors, but the booth fees and every dime we get, we spend to make this festival so great on entertainment. Uh, in fact, the last board meeting, we had a little extra money in the budget. We added some more uh, Disney characters and Marvel characters that will be in and around. So we also have a mermaid this year. All right, so that could not be more spot on on what this community is all about. And if you guys are thinking about moving to Brighton, now you know exactly what this community means to so many people here in, in our town and why we love it so much. So definitely, if you guys have questions, always feel free to drop the comments below. Love to answer those for you. And don't forget to subscribe and tap that little bell so you're notified to learn about the current market right here in Brighton. And as always, guys, doesn't matter if you're moving in one week or one year from now, if you guys are thinking about making that move, definitely give us a call, just text, send us an email, and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Brighton and the surrounding areas. All right, until next time, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.